So I remember my granddad telling me, hey, Galen, uh, there's a guy named Roger Cook coming to the house tomorrow to meet you. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, I didn't know who that was. I, I hadn't heard of him before, but um, after my granddad told me that, I, I Googled him. And I was like, oh, wow. Uh, then, you know, this guy, he's written so many songs, so many hit songs, and so many songs, like, from an, from an era of music that I absolutely loved. You know, um, the stuff coming out of England in the, in the 60s. I mean, this was this was Roger's world, and he was a huge part of that whole you know movement, all that music, and so I was just like, oh my gosh, this guy's coming over to meet me, you know, wow! And so I was you know really excited that next morning, and uh, he came over and just met my whole family and everything just on my granddad's word. I was coming home from England. And I came from New York, and I was sat on the plane, and then an older guy was sat next to me. I say old, he's a few years older than me. It turned out he was Galen's grandfather, visiting his daughter and, you know, Galen's family here. And we just got talking, it was nice. We shared a cocktail, you know, and started talking. I said, what do you do? He said, I'm a musician. I, I'm in New York, you know. I said, oh, what do you play saxophone? I said, oh, that's great, you know. I love reeds, you know. I used to love the big jazz bands years ago. He said, what are you doing? I didn't want to give away what I did because sometimes that's an opening for, you know, too many questions in a way. I said, oh, I'm in publishing. He immediately said, well, what kind of publishing? I said, music publishing. He said, oh, music publishing. He said, uh, my grandson sings, and he's a real good writer and picker. And I thought, oh, God, you opened yourself up. You opened yourself up for this one, Roger. And I said, oh, great, great, great. He said, yeah. He said, um, I should send you something. He said, uh, you, I think you'd like him. So I gave him my address anyway, thinking, well, that's the end of that, you know. And I get this little um, um, CD with three or four songs on it through the mail, and I put it on, and it was very, very good. Hey, hey. Well, hey buddy, come on How's in. Going? All right. Ready for this? So the first time I wrote with Roger was actually at his house, so he invited me uh, over and you know made me a cup of English tea uh, with some biscuits and uh, we just um, I, I can't even remember the first song that we wrote but there was a, a really uh, there was an ease about writing with him I mean I was so excited I don't I mean it, it could have gone horribly and I still would have just loved it because I was so excited to you know be writing with Roger Cook but it went really well we we really clicked um, Musically and just our personalities, it, was, it felt very effortless and, and natural. Um, and so I think, you know, after that first time of writing together, we were both like, man, let's, let's do this again. Part of the, the cool thing about writing with him is with the intergenerational thing going on, I immediately felt connected to this whole um, era and history of music that he has come out of. He doesn't see the fact that I'm so much older, he doesn't see that as a deterrence of any kind. As long as I come up with the goods, and I come up with the goods, I'm a good lyricist, I know I am, you know. And uh... He had the same producer as the Beatles in the, in the 60s, George Martin. And so it was a very rich thing creatively for me to be writing with this guy. And I just thought the, the fusion of the, you know, the intergenerational dynamic was so cool. And I, and I think we were, we were both enjoying that. It led to, to a really unique sort of uh, zone of writing and, and we were just having fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We made it a regular thing we, where we would like write um, every Wednesday morning. My words seem to fit what he wants to sing really well. And we're, we're, we're really close as collaborators now. I think I'll be writing with Galen for years yet, you know.